house and that thing and them jeans got a jerk back. Hey, you got a fat ass and a house and that thing and them jeans got a jerk back. Hi guys, it's Tina Queen underscore 15, aka Miss Bad and Bougie back at it again. Today I decided to do a makeup tutorial with you guys. And if you're wondering who this is, no, it's not a middle aged woman, it's me without makeup. I know, I'm a ghost. I'm thinking about doing a holiday tutorial with you guys, but with a twist. I will be drinking wine and guess what? I'm a little tipsy. I'm already three shots in. Let's get this started. Here's we're gonna do one shot. <coughs> it tastes like nail polish remover. Also here, I have a wine glass. So the first thing I want to do is, if you have a primer at home, prime your face. I have oily skin, so I tend to just you know, go on my T-zones with it. I already have some on. So the next step I do when doing my makeup is actually fixing my imperfections. Because, you know, nobody perfect. I look like a ghost. I look like a stray cat right now. So after this, I'm going to turn into a model. First thing I like to do is go in with my NARS. This is a little pot of concealer. So if you're my complexion, brown skin, you will use NARS. Amande. Go in and just fix in all your imperfections. This is like a concealer that covers your dark spots, you know, whether you had a pimple yesterday. Using a little brush like this. Go into your pot, put it in there. It's always the first step I do when doing my makeup. You just want to correct all those dark marks on your face. Pop up at your man's house. Be like, I'm perfect. I don't have dark circles. You know, I don't have marks when in reality you do but it's okay they're gonna be coming all together here looking like a regular person capture all your dark marks because i know y'all barely noticed me when i came on this camera the next step would be blend it all in together take your beauty blender and just put it in this is not your regular concealer it's like a paste material dab it all in and I like this pot thing because on days where you don't want to wear a lot of makeup, honestly, you can just put it all over your face and then call it a day, leave the house. All right. So as you can see, my NARS just fixed me up, got me looking smooth, got me looking Photoshopped. You couldn't even notice. Look at that. Which brings us to the next step. It's 2019. If you really don't know how to do your eyebrows, what are you doing? I usually go in with this eyeshadow thing I got from MAC. It's called Broom. I use an angled brush. Just kind of want to shape out your brow. So now we're going to clean up our brows with the NARS. Again, same brush that we are going to take it and just clean up the mess you made on your eyebrow. I prefer this over any other concealer, honestly. I can feel the drink already. Cheers. Next, you're gonna take your sponge, just pretty much blend that out. Another thing I noticed with a lot of people is um, when you're doing your eyebrows, we shouldn't see the concealer around your eyebrows. You need to blend that out. Next step is to normally just put a base on your eyelids before doing eyeshadow. You never wanna just go in with eyeshadow. When you start sweating, it will be a disaster with creases. Call me crazy, but I do not buy, um, I don't buy a primer for my eyelid. I actually do my, once again, NARS concealer, and I just bat it on my eyelid because it works the same. Makeup is all about improvising, to be honest with you. Pack that thing up on there. If you're not ghetto like me and you actually have primer, use it. Next, I'm gonna go in the Jaclyn Hill palette and add some dark colors. We're just gonna go ham. We gonna get you right, girl, guy, whoever's watching this. I'm going to be going in with the color Diva, which is this dark color on the Jaclyn Hill palette. Hold on, is it Diva? Excuse me, excuse me, Enchanted. Enchanted is like this forest green color. Go in with a flat brush and then pack that thing on. I may look like you got a black eye right now, but trust the process. It will all make sense. 
tack that baby on. We want colors. Like I said, it will all make sense in the end. And we are almost doing like a cat shape. So I will say head towards your outer corners. So now your next step is to actually go in with your outer crease. Where my brush at? It was in front of me the whole time. Oh my God, I'm drunk. I was looking for this brush and it was actually right in front of me. What I'm gonna do is go in with a little brush like this. Who would like to go in with almost a color that is like a transition color? In with my Morphe palette, going in with the color Rock Out. I'll see you guys, this is my first time trying this. We gonna see if the end gonna look how, how I imagined it. Almost a windshield wiping motion with this. It will all come in together, hopefully. Next, you wanna go in with another crease color. We are gonna do Hill Stir on the Jaclyn Hill palette. Again, with the windshield motion, this is your best friend. You're gonna stay like this. I wanna make sure every part of your eyelid gets the same treatment. What I like to do next is make sure the colors are connecting and I go in with a somewhat clean brush and just tie it in together so there's no more product on my actual brush. It's just me blending. Just so it doesn't look too blunt and too rough. I feel like it's gonna tie everything in up into your, your brow bone so it doesn't look too rough. Next, we are gonna go in with a dark color we gonna make this a little dramatic. We are gonna go in this Morphe palette and get Chocolate Diamond. We are packing onto our crease to give it this dramatic effect. Shop time. I'm gonna regret this in the morning. Next step is to add um, even darker color. Why? Why not? We are going to go into color Chip on the Jaclyn Hill palette, and you are going to add some depth. Many of you guys use liquid foundation. Me, I don't. And if I do, it's only for extra coverage. I have oily skin. I realized it was starting to break me out. Your girl go old school. I'm a powder kind of girl. Powder. And the powder I use is from Bare Minerals. So the color I do use is Latte, which is number 24. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundation I use the brush that comes with it and I just feel like it's enough and it keeps you matte for the day I had to zoom in real quick because you guys weren't getting enough of me oh I forgot where I left off your next step as you can see we got the green going on we got the orange next and the brown I don't think I was done with the brown we're going back we're gonna go back in on that we're just gonna get chip with the tapered brush and we're just gonna blend that out. And remember, we're going for a smoky eye look, so I think this is perfect. Again, if you if you next we wanna go in with the glitter color. I have this flat brush that's just Chunky and flat, I think it's perfect for this type of video. We are going to go in the color Diva in the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's a sparkly green. I do find it perfect for this type of look and we about to get right into it. If you are a beginner, this is easy. You just gotta step out your comfort zone. Take a little dab in that. Voila. The excess is gonna fall on your face and that's fine. You just take a big brush buff it out and you're just gonna pack it on this is a very pigmented color I would say pack instead of rubbing just pack that thing on don't be scared and don't be shy it looks crazy at first but like I said it will tie in together I look like I'm from euphoria <laughs> There goes our eyes right now, but what we're gonna do is buff it out. We'll get rid of the excess. Let's go back in with a crease color to make it darker. We're gonna go back in with chocolate diamond and just finish out our crease. 
Then we're gonna do eyeliner next. This is a felt tip gel liner. So next what we're gonna do is clean up the mess. I'm actually gonna go with the NARS Creamy Concealer and this color is Walnut. Um, this does come in Amande, which is the color I showed you in the NARS pot, but I like to go a little lighter because this is highlighting. It's going right under your eyes and we're gonna clean up the little mess I made. And you can even use whatever you're using, put your eyeliner on, create the cut look you're looking for. Like I said, you just wanna clean up. I like to go on the bridge of my nose. I have a very long nose, so I like to just emphasize on my bridge. A little bit on my forehead. I already have a big forehead, so what I do is I just come horizontal like that. My cupid bow, and lastly, my chin. Take your beauty blender and buff it all in. Our look is coming together. This is the stepping out of your comfort zone. Live a little, smoke crack. No, don't do that. I want to kick it up a notch. I do have my Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, this is an old school one. And I would like to go in with the color Isla. It's gonna bring some sparkle into my routine. Here is gonna be a lighter color green. I know we already did our eyeliners, but it's all right. We're just giving it a little glam. I'm only adding it in the middle of my lids. So after cleaning up, you do want to go in with your Laura Mercier powder. I don't pick that much up. I just picked up my beauty blender and then lightly go under my eye. I'm gonna go in my inner crease and add some gold. Let's grab the Morphe palette I had earlier and let's just add some gold to it. Fool's Gold and add it to our inner crease. The Nuvia Palace, whatever this brand is called. Shaharan Blush Volume One. And I am going to go in with this bright pink color because I think it's super pretty. And aim for them cheeks and let's give us some color. In the same palette, we're gonna use Neo, which is a little darker type of blush, and we are going to get kind of like a contour with this type of um, color. And I just aim for the beginning of your ear to right here. So this will be my contour line, just like that. You can see it's forming number 103 from MAC. It's a perfect contour brush in my opinion. I go in with one of my um, famous color, which is called Film Noir. Looks like this. So I start by coming up here and I work my way down. Next, we are gonna do some highlighting from this palette again. And we are going to call in, go in with Zara and Lila. And I like to be extra with my highlight. The trick is to not just use one highlight. You wanna go in with at least two or three. People may not agree, but I think it gives you the full effect. So I'm gonna take a brush that's like flat, like this. Dab it in. Above your nose and bring it around the bridge. Now you're gonna go in with Lila. And this time with Lila, we're not gonna put it in the same places where you just put your other highlight. We wanna make a difference. So when the light hits your face, it's hitting two different colors of highlights. So it gives you that dimension effect or whatever you like to call it. So what I wanna do with Lila is put it at the tip of my nose like this. And I also put it up here. And then lastly, way up here, we are going to add lashes and then gloss and then call it a day or a night whenever you're watching this video. Dramatic lashes with a dramatic eye look is always the way to go. I use duo glue, honestly the best. Dries quickly and it's just so easy to put on. 
So I have the liquid lip liquid lip color called High Drama. I'm gonna line it up with MAC Vino pencil and you should see how this should turn out. So that's my final look. Got a burgundy lip, green eyes. What else could y'all ask for? I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Maybe add some earrings, maybe add some necklace. Obviously this robe ain't doing it, but you get the picture. Thank you for watching. Cheers!